Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2, where Art and I get to talk to Mr. Hollywood, Mr. Forgotten Hollywood, Manny Pacheco. Yeah, I, think, I, I think Johnny Grant was Mr. Hollywood. I'll, I'll be happy to be Mr. Forgotten. You're probably right. Right. Yeah, but, you know but certainly, certainly you're, you're not forgotten to our audience and right. to the thousands of, of devoted fans that you have at, uh, would it be ForgottenHollywood.com? Yes. So, so I want to tease you because I know that you'll pick it up. But uh, there have been uh, a whole bunch of sports figures who've actually made successful semi careers uh, in uh, in the movies, and I know that you're rife with the knowledge of them. But uh, that's not important right now. <laughs> Is that a reference from the movie Airplane? Oh, really? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that could be. Well, well, that's not important right now. But yeah, I think I think if you're if you're going to start with that movie, then you're starting with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Sure. Oh, that's he, right. Yes, yes, yes. Plays a co-pilot in the film, <laughs> and the and the kid really like lays him to waste. <laughs> you're <laughs> Kareem. No, I'm not. I'm Roger Murdoch. <laughs> who is the, Who is the character in Airplane? Who said, uh, oh, I speak uh, jive or whatever it was? Barbara Billingsley. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. From Leave it to Beaver. Yeah, but that's yes. another story. Let's, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, That's not important story. right now because we're talking about sports stars. <laughs> sports figures. Well. So, I, you know, Kareem did a great job because he's really playing himself, playing another character, playing himself. I mean, it yeah. really, it works really, really well. And, and when they take him off into the sunset, he's wearing his basketball shorts, which makes it even funnier. Yeah. So... <laughs> I think if we want to, I mean, there's lots, lots of uh, sports characters, uh, people who've retired and then went into movies. I, I think it all began with Jim Brown. I mean, Jim Brown had a really great career in the 1960s. There might be some that were even earlier than that. Uh, but Jim Brown surely had a great career in the 60s and action movies and, and, and westerns. One that yeah. comes to mind where he was particularly good was The Dirty Dozen. Oh, and, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I was kind of sad when he when yeah, not to be this is a spoiler alert. I mean when when his character dies in the film, I thought that he might survive because he really was a very heroic character in in, in the Dirty Dozen. But yeah. I mean he was uh, actually he was a really really good actor and there's a scene in um that movie that came out about a year and a half ago one night in Miami where where Muhammad Ali and Jim Brown and Sam Cooke and uh and Malcolm X all get together and 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 uh, the character who plays Jim Brown is talking to the character who plays Malcolm X that he's going to start a movie career so I thought that was kind of interesting I mean the yes. whole event takes place supposedly in 1963 and uh, and and what happens? Jim Brown goes on to make a really uh, have has a really great career in in the movies. I think not not yeah. long enough, but it was really good. Yeah, and and you know it's not. Um, it, there were a couple of actors that had very long careers on TV, um, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking of. Um, I know you're talking about Chuck, Chuck Connors. Chuck Connors. I'm, okay, so I'm going to vent something here. I'm okay. a Brooklyn Dodger fan. I've been to Ebbets Field. I still haven't forgotten the uh, uh, there's a team out here called the Dodgers is all in a, in a ravine. They live in a ravine. OK, I haven't forgiven them for moving. But Chuck Connors, OK, was a hero of mine. He played baseball yes. for the Dodgers, uh, yeah. but the Rifleman. Da, 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 da. They ran for like, I, I want to say 20 years. It ran a long time. No, probably not, that. but it was black and white. Oh. Five or six years, but you know, Chuck Connors was a bona fide star. Yeah, yeah, and and he ended up making some some pretty good movies as well. And uh, one of one one of them that where he gets to play a villain and a very comedic villain was with James Garner in Support Your Local Gunfighter. Uh, and, oh, and he was yeah. so good in that. Yes. <laughs> his his TV career though way bigger than his film career. I mean, yeah. really, he was he was also in Airplane too. Oh, was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah he I, was in the I, sequel. So he plays the Sarge, kind yeah. of the oh, George okay. Kennedy kind of role, you know. <laughs> well, there, there are others. There seems to be a lot of football players like uh, Rosie Greer. 
Uh, Marlon Olsen I was a, a football I player as well, right? Rosie Greer. I don't remember Rosie Greer in films. I do remember him on TV. camera where, where he actually tries to catch the killer of, of, of Robert Kennedy. Mm. Uh, that I do remember. But I think you're more on the mark with uh, with uh, Merlin Olsen and Fred Dryer. Yeah. Mm. Well, I, Merlin Olson on uh, Little House on the Prairie for, again, a long, a long run. Long stretch, yeah. And, and Fred Dreyer, of course, was in those action films, that, uh, action TV shows that he, yep. he, he was very, I think it was called Hunter. Was it called Hunter? Yes, I, believe, I think oh, so. Yeah, it's called Hunter. I think so, with, uh, with a very short actress. So I can't, I just yeah. remember her because he was so big and she was so small. <laughs> <laughs> So they they were very successful, but if you want to talk about the prolific uh, foot uh, football players who really had big careers in the movies as well, we would be remiss if we didn't mention O.J. Simpson. Oh, I mean, yeah. he was in the Naked Gun movies, but I mean, he had a very big role in Towering Inferno. Yeah, uh, and he plays a, a security officer. So, I mean, uh, O.J. Simpson, and then, then there was Alex Karras, who, of course, was on television, but uh, memorable as Mongo in, uh, in, Blazing Sand, in Blazing Saddles. You know what? That one role, that one role for Alex He's the one who knocked out the horse, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mongo. Yeah. Uh, Mongo loved candy. Yeah. <laughs> So Alex it's interesting because um, Hollywood has never been shy about stealing a, a recognizable star from any other business mm. and putting them into a movie. But certainly Just for a cameo. cameo. All it takes so you can put their name on the billboard. You know, you know, you know there is a, there's a future sports star that I'm sure could have a movie career if he wanted, uh, which is Tom Brady, but he refuses to retire. Uh, <laughs> you, you sort of have to retire first to have time yeah. to do those kind of things. But he'll, well, he'll probably yeah. wind up doing an animated voice or something like well, that. Well, speaking of animation, I mean, I mean, who hasn't been more prolific than uh, Shaquille O'Neal in animation? Mm -hmm. I think LeBron yeah. James has taken a page from him as well. Oh, Michael Jordan. Yeah. Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan as well, too. Yeah, but Shaquille yeah. seems to revel in it, and he's, he's, he's making buku bucks in commercials. He's such a likable character. I, I think eventually uh, somebody's going to say, wow, maybe Shaquille deserves a TV show of his own. And I think that would be wonderful because he's got a real persona that's really likable. And he's a lot of fun. I mean, he's really a lot of fun. And, he's, and, he, and the camera loves him. Absolutely. So can we expect you to be a showrunner? No. <laughs> no. What, what about... Uh, uh... They, I think they only made movies about people like Jake LaMotta uh, and yeah. Muhammad Jake Ali. LaMotta, Jake LaMotta was in Raging Bull. He had, he had a part. Was he? He did. Yeah, he, yeah. Played a, he played a bouncer at a bar. He was in the movie. A lot of, lot of screen cameos. Uh, uh, Doris Day had a, a cameo with, um, with uh, uh, um, Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris and mm. Yogi Berra in a movie. Um, of course, uh, uh, Babe Ruth was in all kinds of movies uh, in cameo, but he was notably in the Pride of the Yankees. He played himself, yeah. Yeah. and so yes, there, there are a lot of actor, a lot of sports figures who have been uh, cameo stars. Uh, to their credit, yeah. I, I think there has been some golfers too. Babe Zaharias, uh, the noted female uh, all-around sports Golf. figure, who is yeah. really good as a golfer. She appears in Pat and Mike opposite Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. So, yes. Oh, I remember that. I didn't know. Who what about was. James Thorpe? Did he ever appear in. Uh... Jim Thorpe? I yeah. believe so. Uh, but they made a movie about him, Burt Lancaster. Yeah, sure. Played. But I, I believe he also did some cameo work as well. Oh, no. I mean, they're, they're often, if you can grab a real sports figure and put them in a movie, why not? Joe Lewis did some cameo. Yep. Uh, Rocky Marciano did cameo. Rock, hey, uh, Rocky it, it gets people to buy tickets. Mm. That, that's exactly right. That's the name uh, of the game. Ro Rocky Grazi, but, but, of course. Yeah. I find it more interesting that some of these sports figures actually went on to have bona fide careers as actors. And I think of Merlin Olson mm -hmm. and uh, Chuck Connors and people like that. Fred Dwyer. 
Yeah, you know, I think that they just refuse to retire. They want to start a second career, and I say, why not? Uh, well, but they, these guys were, the difference is, Manny, these guys were very good at it. Yes. They mm -hmm. didn't just do a lot of cameos, you know, which are the easy thing. Show your face, famous people. Ooh, uh, no, these guys were good actors. They yeah, but most, I think most of the sports people uh, that had a, a second career was either they don't a car dealership or they'd be a spokesperson for a brand. Uh, take George Foreman and the grill. Yeah. Uh, things like that. So I think uh, more of them, if they have a second career is as a spokesperson, Sure. Uh, 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 trading on their fame, or they go on to management positions within uh, uh, sports, within the sports yeah. that they were in originally. Well, I still get my insurance from Broadway Joe. Do you? So, well, yeah. Joe Namath, absolutely. And you know, uh, excuse my phone, I appreciate it going off in this, but there is another job that they might have in their retirement, and that's become an analyst on television. So a yeah. lot of them do that as well. Sure. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so, I mean, they do have options. They don't have to retire into the sunset. Uh, I, I love the analysts to do fine work on golf and in football and in baseball. Yep. But if they if, if they have colorful persona, why not have a career uh, doing television shows, uh, sure. doing commercials, or, or, or actually being in film? Well, when uh, uh, you're going to have a film coming out pretty soon, uh, hopefully yourself, uh, Manny. So I think that we should probably uh, line up a couple of ex jocks, okay, just to come in and and show their face. Say, hey, I, Manny, and I go way back. Uh, let me leave you with one, uh, one, uh, one more persona. I think it's it's the appropriate one. When when the Jackie Robinson story was played by none other than Jackie Robinson. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. who else was going to play him in the 1950s? So yeah. that that's that's one I, I think we should also mention. I'd be remiss if I didn't. Well, that's a good place to, to leave it off, I think. You're right. But, well, this was fun. Thank you, guys. It was. Yeah. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.